Okay. Hello, Maine East geology students. And Maine South geology students. So far, you've documented everything you've learned in science. You've come up with some great questions and some not so great ideas in the Pat Idea Factory. We, we were presented with tons of facts about the world we live in, and you came up with some interesting questions about those facts. The questions started helping us look at the world around us. You started to wonder about how the science you've learned over the last 10 years actually applies to you and your world. That means you've started to think like a scientist. You took your questions, and as a class, you started the Bad Science Idea Factory. What seemed like a great exercise in thinking outside the box actually produced some really great results. Many of you came up with some incredibly terrible ideas. <laughs> that was one of the goals of this activity. Sometimes our brains need to consider lots of possibilities, no matter how ridiculous, to come up with a few really good ones. Some of you came up with some curiously strange questions, but some of your ideas really do have some merit. No one really expected any good ideas to come out of the Bad Idea Factory, but many of you came up with some pretty neat ideas. So, what if you had time and the resources to investigate your bad idea and build on your bad or good idea in a scientific sort of way. In geology class this year, we are going to give you that time and those resources. We want you to take one of your bad science ideas that's actually a pretty good science idea and really dig into it to the point that you develop a solution. Just about every Wednesday, you are going to have time to work on your bad science idea for the entire school year. We want you to take your bad science ideas. Consider tweaking them to make them work around Maine East and the surrounding community. Don't forget Maine South. Maine South. <laughs> if that's possible. Maine South, possible. Um, and then dig in and see what you can learn, what chances you can make, and what solutions you can come up with. So I bet you're wondering how we're going to start things off. To start things off, you're going to write a, a proposal that will outline your research for the entire school year. You'll create a proposal that explains your problem, shows how you are connected to the problem, and defines the audience that benefits from your working on this problem. And it's also going to set a timeline for getting things done. You'll decide what method you will use to give us weekly updates on what you've done in class and what you plan on doing outside of class. You'll give us a list of materials you'll need with a real budget to complete your project. At the end of the semester, you'll give a short presentation about your progress on the problem. You'll talk about your problem, what you've done so far, new things you've discovered, what you're gonna do next, and what you still need. And yes, you're gonna be reaching outside the walls of Maine East and Maine, Maine South, South and contacting professionals, scientists, others who can help you. You're gonna be creating something that will be beneficial to your community. It's a great chance to gain some real life experience outside the classroom that will look great on your resume and your college application. Some of our students in the past years have taken their work on these projects and earned paying summer internships, discovered college majors that they want to study, and made connections with some high ranking people outside of Maine East and Maine South. So how will you make an impact?